His son's been shot, he's behind bars for murder, and the mob is out to get him. Doc Sloan's had better days, diagnosis murder in half an hour on BBC One. If your uncle doesn't stop picking. He's always had a good appetite. Anyway, I can blame him. Food's great. You have done brilliantly, Donna. I just hope it's good enough for your mother. Hey, of course it will be. You worry too much. Well, she's got such high standards. Well, just her family always made a big thing about it in the Punjab. And she did over here, you know, when we were kids. And you're wondering why I'm nervous. Hey, it's going to be fine, yeah? Nana and Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that magnificent spread. You must have been up all night. Oh, no, it didn't take that long, really. I know the hours you ladies put into these things. <laughs> Looks wonderful, doesn't it, Nina? Yes, wonderful. Sunday, don't you? I know it's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. Oh. That's how we know it's Sunday. Don't we, Bracken? No, I mean as in day of rest, where most people get to enjoy their precious leisure time at home. We are going to enjoy our leisure time. What, by shopping? Well, you haven't heard of retail therapy? Not something we prescribe on the NHS, no. Well, is it with the great British public, the one peaceful day of the year, and they want to go out shopping for DIY platforms? <sighs> We are not going to buy DIY flat pack. What I had in mind was a family dinner, not just three of us. Shopping? We'll do a bit of shopping. I need a couple of things for next week, and I thought we could buy a few outfits for the gorgeous Miss Woodson there. <laughs> the gorgeous Miss Woodson has more outfits than Jim Collins. Oh, and I suppose Mrs Woodson hasn't. Oh, come off it, Ronnie. You're the one with the biggest drawer space. You must have 30 pairs of socks, for starters. Well, I like my ankles to be well attired. Mm. Well, anyway, who does take up the most wardrobe space? I just think there are better ways of spending our time. Like lunch at Via Amalfi? Via Amalfi. How does the linguine Via Amalfi sound? Oh, something gorgeous, covered in cream and white wine. All right, Mr Woodson, you've convinced me. Exactly. Excellent. Then we go for a walk along the canal after lunch. I know it's not quite the Via Veneto, but... We can always play spot the shopping trolley. Your mother was looking forward to today. I don't think Donna has. Why do you say that? Well, she's worried about getting something wrong. What's to get wrong? It's a celebration. Yeah, this is the first time she's hosted the Laurie Festival for the family. She knows how special it is to Mum. She's doing fine. You know, I think Donna gets a little bit paranoid sometimes. Dad! Sorry, but you know what I mean. She worries too much. I know your mother can be a little critical. Really? She's a perfectionist. She likes things just so. She likes things done her way. And it's usually best to do them her way. She has your best interest at heart. Both of you. And she only wants the very best for Tara. Psychosis. What is? Shopping. Everyone has to shop. <laughs> yeah, but there's a difference between shopping out of necessity and shopping through a conspicuous consumption. A conspicuous consumption can be fun. <laughs> but surely there are more edifying ways of spending one's time. It's like reading Thackeray or listening to Rachmaninoff. <laughs> or spending time with family. People are spending time with family. It's not exactly the same as a gathering at home, is it? Oh, so you want to host a Sunday lunch for a gang of relatives? Actually, I think you may have something about Sunday shopping. 
jeera rice, suke alu. Oh, achari mutton. It's Rama's favourite, isn't it? Yes, but it's not easy to find mutton. He says it's always lamb. Well, there's a butcher off the high street you have to order. So apparently Prince Charles started a campaign to make mutton more popular. It was a very traditional meat in England. He's a man who respects tradition. I like that. Well, I might get Dr. Woodson to pass that on. She's meeting him soon. I met the Queen Mother once. Very nice lady. Genteel manners. But tough underneath, I think. But always with her family in her heart. It was my grandmother who taught me how to make roti. I must have been all of four. And she taught me how to wet and knead the flour. And I was always in the kitchen with my mother. She was a fine cook. I used to love helping out on the family feast, especially Lori. You know, it's like the harvest festival. All the seasonal ingredients are there and all the family is helping. It wasn't quite like that for us. You've done a very good job. Although, these pakoras are a bit dark. They should be golden. You, you did use proper gram flour, no? Our Sunday family gatherings generally ended in an argument, as did Christmas Day. Well, you're an opinionated lot, you Woodsons. Well, that's why you fit in so well. <laughs> the best would always be with Uncle Bert when he'd roll up for lunch after his traditional morning session in the pub. Always ready for an argument. Politics, sport, you name I'm it. I'm just going to pop in here. What for? I can't see you can a hat. I don't think I would be much good. My reactions aren't quite what they used to be. Hey, come on, Tiger. Let's see if I can beat you this time. Dad, you never beat me. That and his full of life. Yeah, he is. He's also a very intelligent boy. It would be nice to see him doing better at school. Well, you can be clever without being academic. It's a matter of application. That and good teaching. A friend of mine taught at a college in Mysore. Had more than a 90% success rate at exams. Sure, the boys were bright, but the important thing was they learned how to learn from the earlier stage. Well, there's more to life than passing exams. But it is exams that secure your future. You cannot progress from one stage to the next, from school to university, without passing exams. Well, maybe Tara might go to university. Of course he will. How can you have good career without going to university? Well, I didn't go. Donna, don't you want Dan to do well? I want Taryn to be happy. Life isn't always about happiness. And I know for sure that the lack of success can bring great unhappiness. Well, if there was a choice between success and happiness, I know which one I'd choose. <laughs> and you want to wear a hat to meet Prince Charles? <laughs> I thought I might. Why? Well, he is the heir to the throne. Yeah, but I don't think it's compulsory to wear a hat all these days. Yeah, but I can wear one if I want to, can't I? Sure, if you want to pander to royalty. <laughs> I'm not pandering to royalty. Well, covering your head is a sign of deference, isn't it? Would you rather I wore an Oliver Cromwell T-shirt? That'd be more in keeping with your principles. What principles? Exactly. <laughs> You've always said that the monarchy is an outdated concept. Yeah, that doesn't mean I can't meet them, though, does it? That's a bit hypocritical, though, isn't it? Well, how? Well, falling over yourself to meet Prince Charles. I can respect the man without respecting the institution. And you need to wear it. A very expensive hat to show your respect. Well, perhaps I just want a hat. I think we should say something to your mum and dad. I thought you said we weren't going to mention it today. Yeah, but they're still sold on the idea of that public school. What, they were talking about Taron? No, but your dad kept going on about some exam factory that his friend works in. Well, he thinks exams are important. Well, the school shouldn't all be about academic results, Ash. He's a bit traditional. Tradition doesn't work for everybody, and it would not work for Tara. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Admit it, Ronnie, you're jealous. Of what? Do you mean Prince Charles? No, of the attention I've been getting. I don't be ridiculous. Why have you been in such a mood, then? I'm not in a mood. I'm going to go at this. I'm just pointing out how worked up you're getting about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to get excited about something. Yeah, but it just seems a bit over the top, you know, with all that hat and... Oh, right. Well, I'll try and be a bit more subdued, then. Didn't phone ahead, then. spoil it today for Mum. We agreed. We've made our decision. I know, but maybe today isn't the right time. You, your parents obviously think you're still going. I mean, the longer we leave telling them, the worse they're going to take it. Ash. OK. I'll tell them. <laughs> Intrusion? What do you mean, intrusion? On our lives. Since this blasted article came out. So it's that blasted article now, is it? No, I didn't mean it like that. It sounded it's, like it. It's just a bit much, all these interviews. Oh, people taking an interest in my work. What's wrong with that? It's a bit much. A bit much for you, you mean? No, for all of us. It's taken over all our lives. <laughs> now you are being ridiculous. Let's get something to eat. Donna, this food is excellent. Achari mutton. Nina obviously told you. Rama will have to watch his waistline. Watch <laughs> it expand, that is. Jadu. That's Mr. and Mrs. Jadu's son, Prakash, playing with Taran. He's home at the weekend from his prep school, second term. He's enjoying it, isn't he, Hulda? He's loving every minute of it. He never stops telling us stories. And the teachers there, they're excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope it's not just lessons all the time. No, there's lots of activities. Prakash is in the chess club, and he's been picked for the rugby team. Oh, I don't like him playing rugby. It's a gentleman's game. You don't get rugby players behaving like footballers. <laughs> and, of course, in the summer term, it's cricket. Cricket, huh? The professional at the school once opened the batting for Surrey. Very good coaching. And I bought Prakash a very good bat for Christmas. Hoping for a tandulkar in the family, eh? <laughs> We're hoping he'll go to Oxford. <laughs> well, he can get his Oxford blues once he's there. Can't be all study, study, now, can it? But don't you miss Prakash when he's away? Of course. I'm his mother. But we have him at home weekends and holidays. And we know he's getting a good education. End of the day, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Hmm. Not exactly linguine a la Amalfi, is it? I didn't know it would be closed. No, this is great. Superheated coffee, calorie-laden muffin, the perfect family Sunday experience. You could have scheduled in another interview. That'd be a far better way to use your Sunday. That's really got under your skin, hasn't it? Me getting a little bit of limelight. Well, that's just it, isn't it? It's not work, it's not professional acclaim, it's... It's a little bit of limelight, a bit of being talked about, a little bit of fame. Do you know what? I happen to be enjoying it. You see, there you go again. What? I want to make it all about yourself. Today was meant to be for all of us, for the whole family, but you have to go and put yourself centre stage. Oh. Well, I tell you what, you can buy yourself as many hats as you like. I'm off. Well, where are you going? Home. I'll walk. I'll get the bus. Well, maybe you should use the time to cool off. It's your home, sweetheart. Do that to Taryn. Do what? Just send him away like the Jadus have done to Prakash. Well, school's only 80 miles away. Not like he's in Timbuktu. Well, he may as well be. Yeah, he gets to come home a lot. Boarding schools ain't like what they used to be. It's still not the same as having them living at home. <laughs> Prakash seems to like it. Well, maybe he's just saying that to keep his parents happy. Maybe when he's lying there at night, he's actually really missing them. Maybe. But all the boys are in the same boat. Mm. Too afraid to admit the homesick, suppressing their feelings. That's what those kind of places do, Ash. Donna, 
That is a generalisation. Well, I think it's true. And that is another reason why Taryn is not going to a school like that. One time, one time in my life I get some acclamation and he has to put the kibosh on it. Well, Ronnie Woodson, if I'm going to be in the limelight for once, I'm going to make the most of it. So in order to be sure, we had to put down a deposit straight away. Oh, a deposit for what? What are you buying? It's a deposit for a school. What school? The school Prakash is attending, the one in Lincolnshire. Uh, we inquired about a place for Tara. You've put a deposit down on a school for Tara? It's a great school, lovely grounds and the teaching staff is up. You've put a deposit on for Tara without asking me? How dare you? You had no right to do that. Hiya. Um, I'd like to see your most flamboyant hats, please. By that, I don't mean uh, your most bold or daring. More in the best uh, Carmen Miranda sense of the word. I'm going to have to explain the Carmen Miranda thing, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> OK. You had absolutely no right to do this without my permission. We thought it was for the best. We knew that you couldn't afford it. What we can afford is our business. You should have asked. We thought you would refuse. Yes, you're right. I would have. But it is what the boy wants. How do you know? We asked him. Do you know about this? Yeah, well, Donna, I was trying to you tell did, you that. Didn't I... you? So I'm the last to know. Well, why not? I'm only his mother. Donna, no, I wasn't. Better that... can't play. That's what you call it, isn't it? Surprised I know that, actually, considering I didn't go to university. Well, well, no, there's no need for no, this. No, there is need for this. Because I will not have other people making arrangements for my son behind my back. I will oh. not have other people interfering. And I am not staying here a second longer, excuse me. Oh. Come on, Taryn, we're going. Taryn. Mom! This was most embarrassing. You must speak to Donna. It's humiliating. Yes, and it's humiliating for us most of all. Couldn't just wait, could you? you? Trying to help! Oh, yeah! And look where it's got us! If you want to be in someone's arms tonight, just be sure the arms you're in are mine. Oh, I like oh, it a lot yet. And I like your eyes. <laughs> and you like my lips? No. Two lips, not thighs. Thank you. Right. Mission accomplished. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Yes, you did mess up. I said I was sorry. You said you were going to tell them? I was. Ash, we both agreed Taryn wasn't going to private school and he's certainly not going to boarding school, so you can tell your parents to take their deposit right back. Are you sure? What do you mean? Am I sure? Of course I'm sure. Who are you thinking about? You or Taryn? I'm thinking about Taryn. And it's not because you just don't want him to be away from you. Donna, I know how hard it was for you growing up. And you've told me how lonely you were. Which is exactly why I don't want Taryn to feel the same way. Of course. But it's going to be different for him. He'll know we're there. And we certainly won't be abandoning him. Oh, I couldn't bear him to think that. Not even for a minute. I know. But, you know, you can see where my parents are coming from. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean that they were right to act without asking me. 
Or that they were doing the right thing for Tarry. No, they just thought they were doing the right thing. They wouldn't have done it otherwise. You know, they're good grandparents, great. And it's wonderful that they want to do so much for Taryn, but they have to consult us. Yeah. Anyway, I think I've already thought of a way that they can help Taryn out this time. Decided to come back then? We'd already agreed that we weren't going to send Taryn to a private school. You should have told us. Yeah, I was going to. Just. Just you wanted to keep everyone happy? Yeah. Sometimes it's best to just come out with it. No kidding. I still don't see the problem. There's really good teaching at the school. The classes are small and Taran will get plenty of attention. But it's all about competition. What's wrong with that? It's a good preparation for life. Not for everybody. You know, some children need to be encouraged and not pushed, and that includes Taran. You're sure you're not being overcautious? No. I... We think that Taran would just be unhappy at boarding school. And the competitive atmosphere at a private school wouldn't be right for him anyway, not at the moment. Then what are you thinking? Well, leaving him at his present school for a start. But he's slipping behind there. But he's also familiar with it, and they like him. And we also thought that we... Well, we thought a private tutor would help. Extra lessons at home. You know, just help Taryn keep up. We thought that we could continue with that and, you know, after a couple of years, maybe, look at the other options. Well, it is a compromise situation. But a good compromise. After all, it's Darren who matters. And Stephen Mark, uh, Bryce Mark, obviously used his house. Now there's something like them quick to the team. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. We always did this at home. We would all watch my father as he lit the fire. For us, it represents renewal. The winter is over, the harvest is in, and we're celebrating the bounty of the sun. And then my mother would come with the pita sweets. Like this. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Look. Donna has made pita. Wonderful. I shall have some of those. <laughs> mm. You know, when I was young, we would light a bonfire on the beach for Lori and stay up most of the night. Can I stay with everyone else tonight? Just for a little while. Now, I hope you ladies aren't going to just watch it from inside whilst your men for <laughs> brave the elements. Go on, Nana. I don't think we have much choice. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I've never rated him either. He's, he's left-footed, but the problem is, he's got two of them. <laughs> yeah, all right, so what, half an hour, 40 minutes? All right, yeah, I'll see you there. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. Oh. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to dream about doing things like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watching bonfires? Well, anything. As long as it was part of a family, it's all I ever wanted. Close family like other people had. Not everyone is so fortunate. No, no, they're not. Which is why I'm lucky to have this family. And we're very pleased you're part of it. Aren't we, Ram? Donna, the extra tuition for Taran. We were going to pay for the school anyway, so we thought, if you don't mind, uh, we could cover the cost of the tutor. Well, that'd be a big help, thank you. It 
Lloyd's family. Do you know what I was thinking today? How long it's been since Ash and I had a break somewhere with Tara. You know, away somewhere. It's got to be two years, I should think, at least. Well, I'm sure we could help you there, too. It's good to have a holiday. Well, I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. Is there, Ram? <laughs> Your fault, then? Oh, yeah, Phil Rogers and some of the boys are going out to the pub to watch the football and asked if I wanted to go along, so... Well, Phil's a funny guy. Should have a good time. Yeah, should be all right. Do you want any supper when you get back? I could make you something. No, I'll probably grab a curry when we're out. No need to wait up. Don't suppose you want to see my hat, then? Sonia's on the run from the law, EastEnders tonight at 8, coming next on BBC One, the docks behind bars in Diagnosis Murder.